Hello everyone. Let's take a look at our next problem. What are the possible remainders when a cube is divided by nine? Uh, okay, so this seems to be kind of similar to uh, the previous question we asked, where, which, you know, the previous question can be rephrased, what are the possible remainders when a square is divided by 10? Um, so my first thought is to just My first thought is to, um, well, what is my first thought? Is it enough to just write out, um, maybe we just write out um, a se the sequence of cubes mod 9, and it'll probably enter into a pattern, won't it? So n cubed mod 9 is equivalent to n mod 9 cubed. When I say equivalent, I mean equivalent mod 9. So I mean, I suppose this is just like the previous question. We just have to look at the numbers in this case, um, in this case, from zero up to eight cubed. We don't actually need to look at nine cubed. Uh, and so we need to take all these numbers, but then compute the remainder of them when we mod by nine. So if we just write out, um, n cubed mod 9 as it depends on n. Um, so I, I computed a few of these with my calculator. Um, I, didn't, I didn't do this off the top of my head, but you can see from the first few what is happening here. Uh, 0 cubed mod 9 is 0, 1 cubed mod 9 is 1, 2 cubed mod of 9 is 8, and then that pattern just repeats. This is a multiple of 9, this is one more than a multiple of 9, and this is one less than a multiple of 9. Um, I wonder if there's a another nice way to kind of formulate this. Um, if I think of... Um, if I think of the positive integers or non-negative integers as all being of the form 3n, 3n plus 1, and 3n plus 2, let's see what happens when we cube all of these. Well, 3n cubed is 27n cubed. 3n plus 1 cubed will give me 27n cubed plus 27n squared plus... 9n plus 1 and 3n plus 2 cubed will give me 27n cubed plus 18n squared. No, that can't be right. 27 times 2, 54n squared plus 36n plus 2. And if you look at this, this, divide, uh, this is a multiple of 9. All of these coefficients are multiple of 9, and all of these coefficients are multiples of 9. And so the remainder, any number can be written like this for some value of n, for, uh, you know, Pick any number, 17. 17 is equal to 5 times, 3 times 5 plus 2. Um, any of these that I cube, the remainder is going to be 0 or 1 or 2 when I divide by 9. Um, so that's it. That's the total possible remainders when we take a cube and divide by 9, 0, 1, or 2. It's not 2, it's 8. Uh, 
Oh, of course it's eight. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So um, all of these coefficients are multiples of nine, every single one of them. Uh, and so any number can be written in this form, uh, one of these three options. When I cube it, I end up with what's written underneath. And then when I divide by nine and take the remainder, I'm left with zero, one, or eight, regardless of what the original number is. Um, yeah, uh, again, it's kind of similar to the last question. The key here was is understanding that um, if you multiply a bunch of numbers together and then mod by some natural number, that's the same as taking the mod of all the numbers originally and then multiplying them together. Thanks for watching.